Hello everyone, Moshe here, the Electric Israeli. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Please follow me on all the social media outlets. All the links are below. Thank you to my subscribers, shoppers, followers, sharers, and patrons. I love you all. Um, today, uh, I want to talk about the range of the Tesla Model 3. So as you probably heard, uh, Tesla Model 3 re rear wheel drive got a whole bunch of updates. Dog mode, sentry mode, all those kinds. And one of them was um, uh, performance mode, which cut the uh, 0 to 60 from whatever it was, 5.5, I believe, to 5 seconds. Now, I didn't test it. I'm, I'm not the guy who tried to race. I don't care. Does it feel faster? This car is fast, so I, I, I don't know. Whatever. My, my point is that um, uh, one of the... Uh, features that the Tesla got, the Tesla Model 3 got, is extended range 15 miles more. So last week I made a video where I actually I charged the car to 100%. It got me to 321, which is fine. So one of my uh, viewers, my viewers are smart. They are, you guys are smart cookie. And one said, yeah, you know what? Maybe they just, maybe they just made the number to make you feel that you have more miles. It's not actual man. Now I can tell you something. It's very hard to test what is the real world um, range of any electric car because in the summer you will get more a mile, a real world mile than the ones that you see. Okay, for example, my test, my uh, Chevy Volt, which is parked right next to me right now, my Chevy Volt in the winter will show you 35 miles, in the summer 60 miles. And in real, one time I got 75 real world miles on the Chevy Volt. Okay, the Tesla Model 3, which I only had in the winter, it's not getting spring, I only had in the winter, I had, I did many road trips. A road trip in a Tesla Model 3 in the winter, when it's really cold, you will get, if you're lucky, 220 real world miles on highway speeds. Uh, you would lose 30, 40, and sometimes even 50% of your range. That's why it's good to have a big battery on, on your Tesla Model 3. And I tested this, I made many videos about it. So wind and resistant and drag and weight and temperature and rain and, and on and on and on. So if I charge this car to 100% and it will say 325, is that mean if I drive it, I'll get to zero at 325 real world? I don't know. Winter, no. Summer, maybe more. Uh, speeds, elevations, you know, everything I always talk about when it's... So what I'm, what I'm saying is did we actually get more rated range miles? Yes, because you can see it. Is it going to give you more miles in real world? Again, depending on so many conditions. So uh, if I charge the car and I start driving around, I don't know if I will actually get, like I say, yeah, more or less, you get my point. So uh, did Tesla just uh, put the number, say, oh, it's now 325. You know, whatever number you see on your rated range, it means that that's what it is. It's, it's, it's a, a guesstimate. It's not real world. It has to do with all kinds of conditions and variables. And most of them has to have to do with you and how you drive. Okay, so again, you can get more, you can get less. I think you get my point. So I was going to test it. I'm not, I really like to, I test range a lot. I do that a lot, but in a purposeful way, in a trip, in different kinds of driving, weather conditions, elevation, I do that all the time. But you cannot say that 325, you can count on it all the time. No, you can't. That's all. If you have any questions or comments, please put it below. Please subscribe. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. See you tomorrow with another video.